But I can guarantee you, when the messenger hears the word Apur, it's not just a mountain that's coming in his head. There's an entire history. There's an entire legacy. And the connection he himself has to that legacy, that's immediately, the file just gets opened. وَالطُّورِ وَكِتَابٍ مَسْطُورِ There are so many connections between the Prophet ﷺ and Musa ﷺ that it's hard to count them. It's hard. It's honestly hard to count them. But there are some of these connections that I think are important to mention the moment the Prophet himself hears what tur when, when the Prophet himself hears what tur it's not just a word. It's an entire story and an entire mission that comes in his mind. You know, in psychology, they call this trigger words. You, you say one word, but it reminds you of an entire story. What happens with me when I give lectures, especially khutbah or something like that, I don't have notes. But sometimes I want to talk about four things, and I might forget what those four things are. Each four of them is a paragraph. But I don't write a paragraph. I just write four words. And I look down at one word, I know the whole paragraph now because that one word is reminding me of the entire thing. You understand? Now this is easier for you, not you, uh, not you, people in Bali, not you. Um, you see the name of a movie, you remember the whole story. You just all you need is a name, and the whole thing comes up in your head. You hear the name of an actor, the entire IMDb comes up in your head. Not you, the people in Bali. You guys are Islamic, okay? But. The point is that Allah is just, He just says Atur. But I can guarantee you, when the messenger hears the word Atur, it's not just a mountain that's coming in his head. There's an entire history. There's an entire legacy. And the connection he himself has to that legacy, that's immediately, the file just gets opened. You know how like there's a file and it has a small file name, but when you double click it, it's huge. It's 300 page PDF. The file name looks so small, but the file is very big. You understand? It's the same thing that's happening with this one word. It's very heavy. You would be like, okay, what tour? Let's go on mountain. I got it. Let's go to Wakitab in Mastur. Hold on a second. We got to open this file. We've got to open this tour file so we, we could see what's happening inside. So, Let's talk about this from a few points of view. The first one of them is, we, we already said, the Jews and the Christians, a whole file opens up in their head when they hear Tur. But what happens to the Prophet? He remi he's remembering the mission that was given to Musa because he was also given a mission when he went to a mountain, isn't it? So Allah called Musa to the mountain just, he, just like he called on you when you were on the mountain. He sent. Musa alayhi salam to the Fir'aun. And by the way, interesting, Fir'aun used to love Musa. And eventually he was ready to kill Musa. And Allah sent the Prophet back to the people of Mecca and the people of Mecca used to love him. And eventually they were ready to what? Kill him. And then they were given, the, the people of Fir'aun were given signs. Nine signs. And the people of Mecca were given signs like Dukhan and Mubin. We're going to dig into that a little bit. They tried to compete. You know what Fir'aun used to make fun of? He used to make fun of the fact that Musa spoke with Allah. Really? You spoke with Allah? Where? A mountain. There's a mountain? You went on a mountain? You spoke with God? Okay. So what does he do? وَقَالَ فِرْعَوْنَ يَا أَيُّهَا الْمَلَى مَا عَلِمْتُ لَكُمْ مِنِ إِلَهٍ غَيْرِي فَأَوْكِدْ لِي يَهَامَانَ عَلَى الطِّينَ Hey, he told his, his generals, I don't know of any other God other than myself for you. So apparently, there's another God on top of a mountain somewhere. I don't know of anyone. Hey, Haman, why don't you do this? If there's a God that is on top of that mountain, I don't, I'm too royal to go to his mountain. I'll build my own tower and I'll go on top of that mountain of my own construction and I'll go talk, I'll, I'll reach Musa's God. I think he's lying. 
Then he says in another place in the Quran, Ya Haman ibn li sarhan la'alli al-ablugh al-asbab. Haman, build me a tower. Build me a skyscraper. I want to reach the ladders, the, the levels. Asbab al-samawat. I want to reach the levels of the skies. Fa'attali'a ilahi Musa. So I can reach the God of Musa myself. Notice, he doesn't say, I want to speak to the God of Moses. What does he say? I want to reach the God of Moses. Because when you reach the God of Moses, you're on the same level. I'm still a God. I can just hang out with another God. This is, this is his mentality. This is what he wants. But where did all of this joke come from for him? The fact that Musa spoke with Allah and Allah spoke to Musa. When you come to the Quraysh, they say, oh, God speaks to you? Why, why you? How come this Quran didn't come to one of the millionaires? We have two big cities, Mecca and Taif. There's lots of big people, good politicians, good speakers. God doesn't have time to speak to them. He has time to speak to you. I hope you guys enjoyed that video clip. My team and I have been working tirelessly to try to create as many resources for Muslims to give them first steps in understanding the Quran all the way to the point where they can have a deep, profound understanding of the Qur'an. We are students of the Qur'an ourselves, and we want you to be students of the Qur'an alongside us. Join us for this journey on BayinaTV.com where thousands of hours of work have already been put in. And don't be intimidated, it's step by step by step, so you can make learning the Qur'an a part of your lifestyle. There's lots of stuff available on YouTube, but it's all over the place. If you want an organized approach to studying the Qur'an beginning to end for yourself, your kids, your family, and even among peers, that would be the way to go. Sign up for BayinaTV.com.